What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to install Nginx and do a quick setup on it, next on Lower Res DIY. So, Nginx, what is it? Why do you want it? Well, their website says that Nginx is an open source software for web serving, reverse proxy, caching, load balancing, media streaming, and more. We're not going to use it for all that. We're going to use it for its web serving, reverse proxying, and caching uh, abilities. So, what exactly is that? Well, I like analogies. So, so let's consider uh, your your home internet. Let's just consider it as just like your house. You buy a house, nice little box there as a house, and you you uh, need a way in well you add a door to your house right essentially that's what you're doing when you're doing a port forward you're adding a door to your house and like myself i have transmission and it took port 901 well then i went out and i decided i wanted home assistant and i wanted to access it remotely so i had to add another door and I had to open port 8123 and of course I didn't stop at that let's say you want to access uh, you, your Unify controller for some reason well maybe you put a window in and that that's port 8443 and then who knows maybe maybe you're crazy and you want to access your pie hole so you put a window in there and you you know access it through whatever port it is let's just say 171 so now you've got all these ports open. Any criminal that wanted into your house could just walk up and, and open the door and walk in. Well, that's why you put locks on there. And that's what your usernames and passwords are. It's just a little lock to keep people out of your house or out of your, your network or, or whatever app you might be uh, utilizing. And we really don't want all these ports open like that. That just gives them four different doors or windows to go knocking on trying to get into your house we don't want them in our house so we're going to take nginx and and well let's keep it as the house analogy we're going to put a fence up around the house and that's what nginx is it's basically a fence around your house to keep people out but now no one can access you included can't access all of your apps that you want to want to utilize so we'll open up port 80 on our firewall. We'll close all these other ports, open up port 80. And that's like putting a little window in the fence. And you got a little guy here. And his whole job is to stand here and wait for someone else to come along. Yourself or one of your friends or whoever you gave access to. And, and they'll come up and they'll say, hey, through port 80, I need to access Home Assistant. Well, that little guy will run over to that door see that you need a password for it he'll run back hey what's your username and password and he'll relay the messages for you port 80 will do that for you the problem with port 80 is it's not encrypted this guy's somewhat of a loud mouth he likes to talk real loud he, he uses real easy language so people can understand him so you come up you say hey i need to access home assistant well if there's this guy over here and he's just listening well he can hear everything that's going on he just got your username your password the port you're using everything he's got it all that easy because old port 80 is just a big old loud mouth so what we're going to do then to avoid this situation is we're going to install let's encrypt along with nginx and what it will do is it'll do the same thing it'll put another window in here and It'll open port 443 for us, or we'll open it, but it'll access port 443. It's got another little guy here. He's more of a secretive fellow. He likes using codes and different things like that. So when you come up to this window and you talk to him, he says everything in code and gibberish so that if someone is listening, they can't understand it. They don't know what it is. So that's what it is. It's encrypting. He's encrypting this information for you. And with that even if someone does decide they want to come over to port 80 the loud mouth for us is going to say ah oh, nah they they fired me i can't uh, i can't help you with that you need to go around the corner and go to talk to port 443 and it'll force anyone that's trying to to 
access your information to go over to port 443 and log in that way. Another way that it's going to help us out is the people, person, yourself, or whoever you give access to, they're not accessing the server directly. They've got to go through Nginx. He'll go get the information, or her, whoever it is, and they'll bring it back to let you see it. So hopefully that is probably as clear as mud, but hopefully you get the gist of what's going to happen here. And uh, so let's just get to it. Let's install it. All right, so I've installed or created a container 102 Nginx right here. I've already done an apt update and apt upgrade. And the command to install Nginx is super simple. Look at that. Apt install Nginx. Hit enter. Yes, we want to go ahead and do it. And let's go ahead and make sure it's started with a system CTL start Nginx. All right, it should be started. So let's open another tab and just, just check it out to see if it's open. The IP address I gave it was 82, I believe. And there it is. Welcome to Nginx. If you see this page, the Nginx web server is successfully installed and working. All right, now that Nginx is up and running, you're going to want to check out this video here and go to DuckDNS and create a domain name if you haven't done that already. Once you have that completed, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your uh, router and you're going to want to forward port 80 and 443 to this IP address. Once you have those two tasks completed, you should be able to come back to your tab and type in your, your domain name that you chose. In my case, it's lowrestest.duckdns.org. And bam, it just takes you right back to this default page because it's the only thing we have set up right now. But we wanna access other apps and, and programs on our server. And to do that, we gotta go back to our container and we want to edit this file right here, the ETC Nginx sites available default. So you go to this guy, hit enter, and the first server, the only server that's set up right now is that default page. So every time you access it, it's just going to take you to that default page. But if you scroll down to the bottom, it's going to have this example right here of how to set another server up. And in this case, it's to a website that, that you'll have to create that hasn't been created. I don't want to use it for a website. I'm going to set it up to access uh, some applications I have running. And the first one, I'm going to copy and paste this guy in. So this first one here, it says that if anybody types in the domain name lowrestest.duckdns, it accesses our home IP address and it'll come through, through the port forwards to Nginx and it'll see it as this domain name and it'll send it to this IP address right here, which is the IP address of my Octoprint. So let's hit control X and save it. Yes. And then we want to restart it with the system restart nginx.service, hit enter, it should have restarted it. So let's do a refresh and see what it does here. And bam, there it did it. It just took us to my Octoprint setup over here. So that that's your first uh, app you have set up, but you wanna access more than just one app with Nginx. You should be able to access as many as you want. So I've created another domain name called lowres1.duckdns and I'm going to edit that file again we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and we're going to separate it with a hashtag just so I can see the separations and I'm going to add another server so in this case if anybody types in the domain name of lowres1.duckdns.org it's going to take me to this IP address here with this port. This is the port it's going to access it on. Even though it's coming in through 80, Nginx knows it needs to talk to my transmission container on port 9091. So that's one way to do this. So we'll control X, save it. Let's restart it. Let's open another tab up and let's try that lowres test one.duckdns.org and it brings me to my login screen for transmission. If I click sign in, bam, there it is. There's my transmission container. So that's another way to get another, um, access another application 
with nginx but what if you know duck dns only gives you five free domain names so you have to start paying for them after that but what if you don't want to just try to keep remembering five or six or however many domain names well what you can do is edit that file again and scroll all the way down to the bottom add a hashtag to separate our servers copy this guy and what I'm doing here is the server name, instead of just seeing the low res test one dot duck DNS, I've added pihole to the front of it. And this is going to redirect this to my pihole container. So you just, you can add transmission dot low res test one, or just, well, heck, we can even just make that, let's just make that low res test instead of test one. And you can add these onto the front of it. I've I think they're called sub sub domain names or something like that but you can make one for transmission for home assistant for whatever and only have to have that one domain name so let's let's see if it works let's save it and restart it open a new tab and let's go to pihole dot low res test dot dna let's make sure i get it spelled right and hit enter and bam it just went through to my pie hole container. So there's a couple of those two different ways you can add, uh, you can add all a bunch of domain names if you want, or you can just add sub sub domain names to the front of your one domain name. But what you'll notice is all of these guys are being accessed through port 80 right now, which is not what we want. Like I said, we want to keep that loud mouth 80 quiet and we want everything to go through port 443. And the way we're going to do that is by installing certbot with this command right here. apt install certbot python3 certbot dash nginx. Hit enter. Yes, we want to install it. All right. Certbot's installed now, but it still doesn't know uh, what domain names that it needs to encrypt. So you need to tell it with this command right here certbot space dash dash nginx space dash d space your domain name now this is only going to do it for the domain name lowrestest.duckdns.org if you want to do uh, another one come in there lowres test one dot duck dns dot org throw another one in there and you can do pie hole dot lowres test dot duck dns.org and keep adding them for however many that you might have you hit enter it's going to ask you for an email address so i'm going to put that in it's going to ask you if you want to agree to the uh to the contract or user agreement we're going to agree to it and would uh would you be willing to basically send them information that's up to you there it is congratulations your, your certificate and chains have been saved so it set everything up so we should be able to come back refresh this bam there's the lock it's going through port 443 everything is now encrypted let's try this guy and there's the lock on him and let's try pie hole again and there's the lock on him so certbot was able to even work with the sub sub domain name pretty cool right you're damn right it's cool but let's go back into our container and let's check out that default file that we edited or edited earlier and scroll down to the bottom oh it changed everything what just happened it changed everything on us well that command that we put in and got the certificate it changed everything to where if any traffic comes in on port 80 it's going to shift it up here to port 443 and it did all of that for us a super sweet command all right nginx is set up certbot set up everything's encrypted a bunch of port forwarding rules have been deleted so you're just that much safer now so I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully you get some use out of it. If you uh, like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button for me. And until next time, thanks for watching.